that's when I really started noticing a lot of progress in my planter sizes. And they, if you use those three, you'll, you will likely get, uh, you will likely get a uh, full planch or whatever your planch goals are. So I think that's how, what some of the newer age athletes are doing. And that's how I think they're progressing in planch so quickly. As well. This is the Balkage, a super advanced calisthenics athlete, personal trainer, and YouTuber from the US. Basically, a calisthenics god, documenting his progress learning extremely advanced calisthenics moves like supernated planche, Maltese presses, and Victorian holds on rings. I mean, he even goes on calisthenics holidays. Yeah, I'm jealous too. He's gaining serious traction on Instagram and is quickly becoming one of YouTube's best calisthenics athletes, meaning he's got a ton of information that will help you to learn that planche. Now let's get straight into this and learn how we can planche faster. If you had to give like your top three exercises to learn the planche, like what would your top three be? Uh, so I would say uh, negative. Uh, planches where you start in a handstand uh, lower down into planche. Uh, you can do that uh, with any progression actually. And the next uh, option that I really like is the, uh, have you seen the uh, forearm Maltese or some people call it the pseudo Maltese where you um, take like two boxes or your parallettes and you just rest your forearms on them and you raise, and you raise your leg. We, we, we might have to uh, find a picture to show that one, but that's yeah. a really good one. It's good for uh, working your core for the plant, so I really like that one. And then, of course, another one I really like is either uh, band-assisted, uh, just regular straight-up holds or or the uh, plant lean. So those are all, in my opinion, really good exercises. And they if you use those three, you'll, you will likely get, uh, you will likely get uh, full plant or whatever your plan schools are. So negatives, the forearm pseudo Maltese and the planche oh, lanes. Bands. Yeah, I'm always preaching like bands on my channel that resistance bands, like at least for to me, me like, yeah. that's the way to go. Cause like you're basically doing the movement, but it's exactly, um, right. a lot easier. Did you focus on one of those movements and just do that one or did you do all three? So when I learned planche, I literally was just I had no idea what I was doing. I was literally just going up the bars and just attempting it and trying it. Um, so I had full planche, sort of. And then I started doing the negative drills, just starting in a handstand, trying to lower down into planche. I was doing full negatives and straddle negatives. And once I started doing those negatives, that's when I really started noticing a lot of progress in my planche. So yeah, definitely the negatives were the ones that probably helped me the most. What was your workout program for the planche or did you have a workout program or did you take more of an approach to like you just saw what your weaknesses were and then tackled that um, or like how did you approach it? So yeah, good question. So when I was starting out um, with planche, I was pretty much going up and attempting uh, either the straddle or the full planche. Obviously when I was starting out, I was just trying to start with straddle and then once I got good at straddle I was just moving to full so I would start out I would usually do maybe four or so attempts and my attempts I would just try to hold it as long as I could I wasn't really caring about form I was just trying to do it <clears throat> and then so after I would do that I would go to my next easiest thing so let's say uh, I was doing full planche I, I finished the attempts and I would do some straddle holds and then after that I would move to, I was really into like the tough planche pushups and stuff. So after I would do the straddles, I would do just like tuck planche pushups and that, <clears throat> and that was pretty much it. At least that's when I was learning it. Um, now it's a little bit different. Now I will pretty much just attempt whatever uh, combos I want to go for. Usually uh, something like planche or Maltese related and I'll just, go from there. When I was learning it, it was just starting with the hardest and working my way down to the easiest progressions. Okay. Oh, so you took quite a simple approach. So you went for the hardest, whatever hardest progression, and then worked backwards to the easiest. And then maybe did some like push-ups of whatever variation felt good. Yes, exactly. Yep. Okay. If someone's trying to get um, like stronger, so they're trying to do the skills, um, so they're a beginner trying to get the skills, like what advice would you give them if they say we're trying to get the, the planche or the front lever? 
um, let, let's say specifically for the planche, what advice would you give a beginner or yourself when you started, um, if you could go back? For sure. Uh, so if, if you're talking to someone who has just zero training experience and, you know, they look on YouTube and they see people doing planche and stuff and say, I want to learn that, um, that's great, obviously. But personally, I would probably recommend just, you know, maybe taking like three or so months, just building up a base, doing, you know, pull-ups, dips, uh, those kind of exercises, and then start trying some of the <clears throat> more basic uh, planche progressions. And then from there, you know, you can move forward. I, I really think it's, I think it's very important to build up a strong base before you move on mm -hmm. uh, to the higher level skills, especially uh, one of the main reasons is just injury too, because a lot of the skills, uh, the way they are demanding on the joints and tendons and stuff like that, it's very easy to get injured doing some of these skills. You know, I've dealt with that in the past. So uh, to avoid that, you know, you want to get conditioned and build up a base first. So that's what I would recommend. So if you had to teach a beginner now how to planche, um, would you go through, would you just give them the regular progressions, you know, tuck, planche, advance, straddle, or would you throw in like something different or, or what would you suggest for them as their kind of system to follow to learn the planche? That, wow. Okay, that's a great question. Um, well, first of all, I, well, I would want to make sure, like I said, I want to make sure kind of, I want to, want to see where their base is um, because I think what I would actually do is really try to focus on like the bands and stuff. Like I would probably see what that absolute, what how much assistance they could do a full planche with because I really think it's all in like the bands and stuff because that really does give you yeah. a good feel for the position. So I'd probably try to find a band that's thick enough where they can hold it comfortably. I would do that. I would go for the planche leans and stuff because planche leans, you're also going to be in kind of that similar position to a full <clears throat> uh, stuff like planche lean push-ups. I would include as well. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then uh, the, the forearm, uh, Plants or Maltese might be a little too tough for a beginner, but um, I would probably introduce that down the road. Um, but yeah, planch lean push-ups. I would try to do super heavy band work. Um, and then maybe like tuck planch push as well, but it's really important to do the exercises that uh, have them in the full position. I think that's how, what some of the newer age athletes are doing. And that's how I think they're progressing in planch so quickly is because they're just going right for the the leans, the band stuff, and uh, they're mm -hmm. just simulating the full position well, um, so. Yeah, so you'd be throwing that in like with the other progressions, like while they're doing tuck planches, they're also doing banded like straddles or something like that. Exactly, yeah. Um, and I would I would actually focus a little bit less on the progressions, maybe have them do like tuck planche holds at the end or like tuck planche push-ups. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, 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 just explain the reasoning, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, the progressions are great, but uh, in like tuck planche, you're still kind of, you have the same sort of engagement for planche, but just being in the actual full planche position in whatever way you can is going to help you the best. And especially because even when you're doing like tuck planche, even advanced uh, tuck planche, sometimes like you're leaned forward a lot less than you would be in the actual full. So <clears throat> training in those positions can really help in my opinion so yeah uh, to be fair you make a, a good point like um we, we have all these progressions like we have the tuck we have the advanced tuck we have the straddle um but if you just have a band and can just basically do the full planche but just with a band and slowly yeah. slowly like release the band use a lighter band you yeah doing it that way you just you'll just get the full planche like if, if you do it in <laughs> like um a strategic yeah to be fair yeah it, that's a, a good way of looking at it Exactly. Um, I think the bands are the key because you see, you really do. You see a lot of these guys now that are starting out 15, 16 year olds and they're progressing so freaking fast. Yeah. And I think, and I think that's what they're doing. I wish, I wish I knew it when I was, <laughs> yeah, I was the starting out, but yeah. it's, it's pretty insane how fast some of these kids are progressing. That's crazy. Okay. So we're going to, we're going we're gonna to start the new wave, like no progressions, only bands. That's what we're going to do. Just full planche bands. Assisted full planche. That's all. All you need. Okay. Yeah, the progressions still have their place. I'm just saying. I think the bands, the band methods are more effective than. Yeah. 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 I think I totally agree. 
Do you have any advice for learning the advanced tuck planche in terms of getting that extra lean or getting those hips up and elevating your feet? Yeah, so uh, one thing you can think about, uh, really pushing your shoulders down into the ground. Like I think of, like if you're planching on floor, think of you're pushing the floor down. Like you're trying to push your body through the floor basically. Same thing with P-bars, if you're planching on P-bars, you're pushing them down through the ground. Um, so that'll naturally help your <clears throat> hips raise a little bit. Um, another thing you can think about is uh, if you're doing like a tuck planche, you can just slowly, slowly move your legs out into advanced tuck and then back and you can just do that for reps, if that makes sense. Just like tuck to advanced tuck for reps. Yeah, yeah, I, I've mentioned that before. Yeah, yeah, I call them pumps when I do that, yeah. <laughs> and then another cue, <clears throat> is to think about uh, when you're doing it, keep your core nice and tight. And the thing that I tell people is to bring your uh, belly button to your spine. When you're raising up, that'll help. The, that'll also help the hips uh, get up higher and engage the core more. So if you do that, tight glutes as well, that works. Um, but one of the best exercises, in my opinion, is just starting and tuck and then going to advanced tuck. Okay, so th those pumps and then the cue to make your belly button reach your spine or push it towards your spine is that what it was yeah bring your belly button to your spine yeah when we go up yeah okay those two things uh, okay Ho hopefully that helps some people get the advanced tuck i hope so i really hope so yeah because i a lot of people i think are, st are stuck on that when you're doing the planche or maltese or any kind of like lean like that what are you thinking about in the moment um so this goes for planche leans like everything unless these are different um, what are you thinking about in the moment? Are you thinking about pushing down? Are you thinking about the protraction? Are you thinking about your core, your glutes? Or are you thinking about everything? Uh, I, I mainly think about I mainly think about pushing down. Yeah, um, pushing down and just keeping uh, tight core and glutes. That's like the main thing. Tight core and glutes, push down. Those are my main cues that I use. And your different cues work for different people. It's kind of important to mess around with a bunch of them, find out what works for you, but I find those are what works for me. So just a good tip <clears throat> is when I when I lean in, I think about leading with my head because your body will really? always follow your head. You follow your head. Okay. 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 That's a good tip. Um, yeah, the, the, that and the heels, I've not heard of those. So, okay, that's good.